Hey everyone, it's me, Stephanie, and I am like recording this video for like the third time uh, because um, first, I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Second, I recorded it and when I went to save it, it didn't save. Yeah. So, this is Daniel's third, fourth, and fifth month. Yeah. So, he is five months and a half now. Um, when Daniel was three months, Daniel was weighing in at 17 pounds. And he is a great baby. He was, um, he was and still is, but I was going to say that he was um, waking up every two hours to feed always. So I'm going to be right back. Yeah, so sorry, I had to go get Abraham. He went outside all by himself without any permission. So, um, so yeah, uh, he was waiting to weighing 17 pounds um, he was still waking up every two hours to feed because he yeah. was and is still exclusively breastfed yeah. so okay I'm just checking for lightning so yeah um, when he was four months and a half um, we went to the hospital because he had this rash he had this rash and um, we went to check it out, which ended up in uh, nothing. He was okay, thank God. And he was weighing 18 pounds, four, four ounces. And, and yeah, um, after that week later, um, I ended up going back to the hospital because um, he wasn't feeling good. He wasn't breathing as well. He was making these weird noises when he was breathing, like his, um, like something was happening. So I went to the hospital, and turns out he had an RSV. For those of you who do not know what it is, it's a it's a respiratory um, virus and so um, and it's kind of fatal for babies under a year old so he also had um, bronchi bronchitis and and um, so he ended up being hospitalized he was there. We were there. I was with him like the whole week that we was there. Um, we was there. <clears throat> what happened? What happened? <clears throat> we was there on the day after Christmas up until two days or three, I think it was three days after New Year's, which we spent there. Yeah, so Daniel just fell asleep in there. That's how he falls asleep, like his face there. Um, so anyways, um for for these days of Christmas that just passed and everything, I had bought Daniel that that bouncing jumper. Okay, so, um, he likes to bounce sometimes, but most of the time he's just in that bouncing thing, just chilling in there, just chilling and, um, sitting and just playing the activities, the games that it has, um, and it's, like, I like it, it's really nice, I actually bought it off some some guy, some, he was like a grandpa, and it, it was like new. He said he just took it out, like, kind of like, you know, put it up for a grandson, and I don't know what happened. The thing was that the, it's brand new, and I got it off for $38, and new it's like $90, so 
that was like a good good deal I got for that and and it's nice Abraham loves it he's in there now <laughs> and it has activities and it just goes around and around and the seat moves to all the activities so yeah um let me fix this face So, Daniel, um, he is five months and a half now, and he claps, and he sits, but I still help, I still help him a bit, because sometimes I sit him down, and he sits for a while, and then just goes back, so I have to watch him and help him. And he loves to go on the floor. I put him on the floor sometimes. He kind of moves a little bit when he's on the floor, but not quite, not quite like does anything yet. Um, yeah, and let's see what else. We still exclusively breastfeed. Six months are going to hit pretty soon, and I haven't decided yet which foods I'm going to start them with just yet. If I am going to start them on any foods, I don't know. It's like very, very personal. I don't pretend you guys to, um, like, you could tell me which foods I could start them with, but. You know, if I decide not to start them just yet, probably wait up until seventh month. I don't pretend you guys to understand because that's just me. Because he's drinking breast milk and he's doing fine. It's way better than anything else. It has everything he needs. And he is chubby. He's gaining weight perfectly. He's growing great. And so, I don't know yet. And, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, I don't know yet. Um, I'm probably going to get him a walker, but I don't know just yet. Uh, I don't really know if I should put him in. I did for the other two, for Michael and Abraham, but I don't know if I'm going to do it with him because... Everything for Daniel has been kind of different. And so, that's about it. He laughs, giggles. I said that? I don't remember. So, <laughs> yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. And I will be happy to answer anything. I'm sorry this video is late. And I can't show Daniel because he is way asleep. But I will post some pics of Daniel and some pics. Crazy Abraham. He can't get out now. Um, and I will post. Hey! Hey! Yeah, I will post some pics of my tummy also. Postpartum tummy. Since I can't get up and show you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, um, I'm back. I have Daniel napping. I put Abraham for a nap also. And I took a shower. And I am eating. So I'm going to show you guys my tummy real quick. So I don't have to post pictures because obviously it's easier to see in the video. So, <clears throat> this is my five month postpartum belly. I have black on, so you can't see as much. Yeah, so that's. So, 
there's my tummy. I am pretty back to normal again. I feel my stomach hard as I have always had it. Sorry, my hair's a mess. And so, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to um, remind you guys to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram. My Facebook, I'm kind of um, like gone from there also um, and I haven't been updating as much but follow my Instagram and you will see pictures daily of us so bye bye